welcome to this video on how to prepare an RTF file for use with AutoQ Pro. Here we are using Microsoft Word, but you can use WordPad or Notepad or any text editing software. As you can see, we have many problems in this RTF file. We will now correct them. The first thing to do is to make sure that you are in Page Setup Landscape Mode. Having set Landscape Mode, we will select all the text to set it to the same size and font. We select all text, we set the Arial font, and we set all the font to size 28. We will now turn on underline and then off underline, on bold and off bold. So now all text is not underlined and is not in bold. This first line needs an additional blank line immediately after it. As you can see, each line of music is a line of chords and a line of text. Here we have additional blank lines that we will now remove. Here we have a chord in the wrong colour. All chords must be in the same colour to use the transpose facility. So we will change the colour of that chord. Looking further down the RTF, again we find additional blank lines we need to remove. Now the RTF is starting to look correct. We see a spelling error, but it's purely a grammar issue. So we look up and down the entire RTF. We notice that if we want, we could have a slightly larger font without lines wrapping. So we go edit, select all, and we select a larger font. There is nothing between 28 and 36. 36 likely to be too large. So we'll manually enter font 30. Now the layout is correct for use with AutoQ Pro. Once you are happy with the layout, and of course you can always edit it later, save the file. Remember you must save it as an RTF file. Here we are going to save it in the location I prepared earlier. 